Tonight we're going to do video on literal equations. So in your table of contents, if you would add that, and then whatever page you are on after complex equations, literal equations are typically very difficult. Um, the steps are not any different than solving a regular equation with one variable. However, it just seems a little hard for people to wrap their brains around because literal equations have no variable or have all variables and usually maybe one letter but not very many. So we're going to walk through how to solve one and the examples will get progressively more difficult. Um, tomorrow when you come into class, we're going to do some practice. We're going to do two days of practice on this. So first thing I want you to make sure you remember the steps. We are going to make sure we locate the variable we want to solve for. Now, that was not a problem on a regular equation because we usually only have one variable. But on a literal, you'll see we have multiple. And then the second step is follow the rules for the steps, those five that we've listed for solving equations. To get the variable When we solve any, solve any type of equation, we want to get the variable alone and positive. So let's start with what an example of what a literal equation looks like. So, example one. If I say x plus b is equal to a. x plus b is equal to a. And I'm going to ask you to solve for x. Now, if this said x plus 3 equals 5, then we know we need to move b. So I'm first going to circle my x, because this is what I want all along. And then I'm going to think about, well, what's happening to x? Well, we're adding b to it. So what is the rule for undoing a plus b? Well, step one was distribute. We're not distributing. Step two, Collect like terms, no. Step three, variables on one side, no, not necessary. Step four, inverse add, subtract. Well, if I'm adding b, the inverse is to subtract b. I'm going to do that on both sides. So now I'm left with x equals. Now, I cannot put a and b together because they are not like terms. So I will just say a minus b. And now I am done. So if you're thinking to yourself, this is real, that's not very hard. Well, look at it. This is a very simple example. I'm going to progressively get more difficult with more stuff. But we want to start out simple so you can see the basics. So what did we do there? We did the inverse, add subtract on B to get X alone. So let's try it out. And again, they're going to be fairly simple at the beginning. So for the second one, let's do C times D is equal to 10. So I'm going to give you a number on this one. And I would like you to solve for D. Okay. Again, let's go through our steps. No distributing, no like terms, no variables on one side, no inverse add subtract because this is multiplying. We're multiplying. So step five is inverse multiply divide. So I'm multiplying D by C. So the inverse of multiplying by C is to divide by C. And remember, C divided by C, anything divided by itself is one. So technically I have one D is equal to, I cannot divide 10 by C because I don't know what C is. So we're just going to say D is equal to 10 over C. So again, what did we do? We did the inverse multiply divide by C 
to get, in this case, D alone. Okay, so again, these are both just one step. So let's look at a two-step. We know on a two-step equation, we need to do step four and five, which is inverse, add, subtract, and then inverse, multiply, divide. So if I gave you 4A minus B equals C, I'm going to ask you to solve for A, the circle A. Here's my line in case you need that. So we're going to go, again, through the steps. Distribute, no. Collect by terms, no. Variables to one side, no. Inverse, add, subtract, yes. We have 4A minus B. So we are subtracting B from A over here. So the inverse of minus B is plus B. We're going to do that on both sides. When we do that, we are left with 4A is equal to, you can write C plus B or B plus C, it does not matter. I'm still solving for A. So now, step five, inverse, multiply, divide on the four, because we want A by itself. So this is four times A, so I need to divide by four, divide by four. Four divided by four gives me my one A is equal to B plus C over four. So hopefully you're starting to feel a little more comfortable with that. We start looking at literal equations when we start doing um, equations for formulas, most likely, or for science. So this next example is going to be a formula you are familiar with. It is the formula for a perimeter. So when we do the formula for a perimeter, it is going to be P equals 2L plus 2W. And I'm going to ask you, if we know a perimeter, we know a length. I'm going to ask you to solve for W. Okay, so again, a little more complex. Still no distributing, no like terms, no variables on one side. We are going to do the inverse add and subtract. Now you need to think about it. This is one whole term. This is one whole piece. So it is being added to the 2W. So the inverse of adding... 2L to 2W is we're going to subtract. We're going to subtract the whole thing, the whole 2L. Almost like when we move variables to one side. We move the whole thing. So I have P minus 2L. Now you do need to write the P first on this one. The other one was addition. But subtraction order matters is equal to 2W. And now I need to do inverse multiply divide by the 2 because it is being multiplied by 2 on W. So I can write W is equal to P minus 2 L over 2. Another way you can write that, when you divide this whole thing by P, you are actually taking both individual pieces and dividing them by P. So you could also write it like this. Either way is acceptable. I don't take either way. All right, one last example. Um, I'm sure this is a science equation. I'm not really sure what it would be used for, but it is going to be, this was example four, example five, Q is equal to the quantity of C plus D over two. I'm gonna ask you to solve for D here. Now notice this one is in the parentheses. In order for us to do this, we're going to have to do a couple of things. We need to get rid of the denominator. There is no distributing, no like terms, no variables on one side. And normally we would undo the add subtract, but because this is an entire quantity, we need to get rid of the two first. So to get rid of a divide by two, we're going to have to multiply. By two. So we're actually going to do the inverse multiply divide first. Different colors so you can see what's happening. So 
you multiply this by, there's technically a one here, so we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. And then I'm going to multiply by 2 over here. So I have 2 times Q is equal to, now I can get rid of my parentheses because all I have left is C and D. So now I can do my inverse multiplied by, add a subtract, excuse me, on my C to get D by itself. So minus C, minus C. Again, these are not like terms. So you're going to have to say 2Q minus C, whatever matters on that, is equal to D. We're going to revisit this in class. So I don't have any practice problems for you today because I feel like this is enough. And tomorrow we'll do some more. Have a great night.